today we're going to be taking a look at how to install MATLAB 2024A on a Mac OS machine running an M3 processor, so Apple Silicon. All right, so I go here and I go MATLAB install in Google. Let's go here. That's not right. Let's go over here. MathWorks, just the general MathWorks web page. I'll say get MATLAB like this, and then it says sign in. So if I have a York University account, a university account uh, that has a license associated with it, like we do here at York, I just sign in. And I'm going to put in my email address. And you need to put in your university, official university email address. It can't be a Gmail address or something like that. It has to be at my.yorku.ca or .yorku.ca, things like that. All right. Then we go through the official portal for the university and it will two-factor authenticate. If you haven't already done that, then you'll have to go through those steps. So now I'm here at the download page. It recognizes me as a licensed user and I hit install MATLAB. Now I have multiple choices as to what I can use to install. If I'm on a relatively new machine, then I should use the latest installation so uh, or latest release. So 2024A is the stable early 2024 release, or I can go for the uh, preview of the 2024B, which is the second half of 24 um, release. There'll be a, another version in a couple of weeks without the pre-release uh, tag on it. I'm just going to go for 2024A. There's no real difference between 2024A and B. In this case, I'm going to select that I have an Apple Silicon machine. If I have an Intel machine, I can choose that. If I'm on Windows, I would be choosing Windows or, or Linux. Okay, but in this case, I'm choosing it for the correct machine that I have. And I click on download. So in this case, it says this version of MATLAB requires a Java runtime to be pre-installed. I can click on here as well. So it says get Amazon Coretto 11 for Java and do that as well. All right, so down here, I should see that I have my uh, MATLAB install and my Java one. I'm gonna put in Java first like this. Here we go. That's the password for my machine. And it's installed. Move to trash. So now I have Java installed on my machine. Next up, I need to double click on the MATLAB installation. So I click on that. I, yes, I trust it. So I say open. And I'm waiting for the installation to kick in. Hopefully everything's good. Um, checking, checking, checking. All right, I think I'm going to try that a second time. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so I just had to be patient. So I have to put in my computer password here again. And it should start installing. There we go. So once again, I have to authenticate as a university user that is licensed. I'm going to do it again. So this happens a lot. Um, it's a piracy issue to make sure that we're not pirating um, the software. Oh, and I have to use two-factor authentication now. So get out my phone. 
or dongle to use that. Yes, that's my device. I've logged in. Do I accept the terms? Yeah, there's a lot of terms in here. I say yes. I have an official license. Now, MATLAB does take a lot of space on a computer if you choose to install all of the toolboxes, and we don't need them. All you need is regular MATLAB right here. All the other toolboxes that are in here are unnecessary for us for right now. I'm not going to do that. And begin installation. So you can see just MATLAB by itself without Simulink, without all the toolboxes, that's already about three gigabytes. That's a lot of space. So we're gonna wait for that to finish its installation. And we're done. So I can say close here. I can go and change those settings if I need to. And now, um, MATLAB 2024A, I can now run it. Yes, I allow that. Logging in one more time. I have to do two-factor authentication one more time. There's my device. And MATLAB is starting. And we're in. So I can just do a simple little test. I can go one plus one like that it will tell me it's two. So I now have MATLAB installed on my machine. It will run and we can do exercises for the course using this installation.